Hi guys, um, today I am finally going to do a hair video. Um, it's been very requested, so let's get started. So, sorry about the sun. I guess it's very bright and I look like a pale ghost. But it's sunny, so I don't care. <laughs> I haven't seen sun in like half a year. Because I live in Sweden <laughs> and we don't have any sun when it's winter um, so yay sun um, yeah and also my hair is a bit wet still because I had just had a shower so if it looks like greasy or something it's because it's wet so I wanted to share with you some tips for growing out your hair um, because as you can see my hair is very very long and it isn't very uh, damaged actually so I wanted to share some tips and also I wanted to share how I have what's it called how I made my hair into this silvery color <laughs> I guess um, how I got this I've written down like some tips in my death note because we're in it and um, so I will remember everything now that it's a lot but yeah so I will just like start by telling you how I made my hair like this and um, how I made it grow and it become healthy um, because um, I guess I was 16 I'm 19 now so when I was 16 I had also white hair up to like here, I guess, uh, and now it's like this. Um, and it was very, very damaged. It was gross, actually. <laughs> um, it was uh, awful, and um, I just had enough with it. I didn't want it anymore, um, so I just stopped teasing my hair because I had like the biggest sing queen hair I was like this um, it was not pretty <laughs> um, but I teased my hair a lot and I also used a lot of heat on my hair I also I always like straightened my bangs and you know did stuff I never curled it because that wasn't cool I guess um, <laughs> but I also s always straighten it you know even if my hair is, you know, it's straight, but I wanted it even straighter because I was like that. Um, and also, I started to eat vitamins, and uh, I didn't really eat like I think I bought like C vitamins and D vitamins and stuff like that, but I stopped using them because I also took. Um, this vitamin kind of thing called I looked it up and I guess it's called brewer, brewer's yeast or brewing yeast I don't know in Sweden we call it Earl Yeast <laughs> so um, I will link it down below if you don't understand what I'm saying um, which is very much likely um, but I started using that and I really, really used, uh, like, like when I, I really like felt that it worked. Um, I felt on my nails when I started using them that my nails become hard, like really, really, really hard. And I also noticed on my hair that it started to... Um, like grow I guess. I started to use better hair care products I guess. Um, I started to use this um, uh, line from Tigi or Bedhead as I call it um, and I still have the conditioner because it's it's massive as you can see Ooh. Um, and this is have this have lasted me like yeah, like since I was 16 because I don't use it that often um, 
when I started, I you know I also used the shampoo from this line. This is called Dame Blonde, so it's uh, for people that have used bleach a lot. My last tip is to use a oil treatment or like a oil just use oil on your hair I guess that's what I'm trying to say I just drench all of my hair in olive oil and I just like put it up in a you know in a bun like this <laughs> and then I slept in it and the day after I just rinsed, rinsed it out with shampoo and conditioner um, and I also use this bed head to rinse it out um, tip number one Stop teasing your hair, um, it's not good for your hair, um, a little bit, you know, sure, I still do it, but um, try not to. Tip number two, um, don't use heat on your hair, um, sure, if there's a special day, you know, of course, um, but just don't use it if you're trying to, like, grow it out. And tip number three, um, Eat vitamins. Uh, in my case, and what I would recommend, use or eat uh, brewer's yeast. Earliest, <laughs> earliest for your svenska. Um, it's great. It's like my secret, I guess. I really think it works. Tip number. Tip number four. <laughs> um, use a good shampoo and conditioner for your hair. Um, you know, if it's damaged, use a shampoo and conditioner for damaged hair. Simple as that. And tip number five, use a oil treatment. Like, as often as you can, um, use olive oil or whatever oil you have. Any oil is good. Let's go into um, how I maintain my white, silvery, blonde hair. Um, because a lot of you wanted to know that too. Um, first of all, I bleach my hair. And I am blonde, so I don't use a lot of bleach. I don't need to. Um, I all all what? Um, I only bleach my roots when they come out, and I only need to bleach my hair once. Uh, like. I only need to bleach my roots once and then they're, you know, a good... It's light enough so I can use silver shampoo on it. Um, I never bleach like this, <laughs> my ends or something, like never. Um, so I use bleach on it and then I use a silver shampoo. Um, and well, first of all, I the bleach I use is called Mood Ultra Blonde. Uh, I don't know if it's just in Sweden. Actually, I think it's a Swedish brand. Actually, so I don't know if you have it or you, that you can buy it somewhere. Um, but I also like it, Schwarzkopf, <laughs> Schwarzkopf's um, Silvery Blonde. Um, bleach. It's also very good. I think it's the Svartskopf is a tiny bit better, I think, but it's also a lot uh, expensive, more more expensive. Um, so I usually just use moods. Then we jump over to silver shampoo, and I've used so many silver shampoos. It's just crazy. We'll say it like this: if you want white hair like white platinum blonde use L'Oreal's so silver shampoo it's great it's like a blue toned silver shampoo blue toned blue shampoo it's blue so if you want white use the L'Oreal one um, it's great but I want it to be I want my hair to be a bit more silvery and I would recommend what I used before and that is a hair shampoo for horses. <laughs> that sounds so weird. 
but I used to use a silver shampoo that's for horses, you know, the white horses, because they like roll in in shit and piss and stuff like that and they become yellow, <laughs> so weird. So of course I will recommend the one that I am using now, that I have been using for like two months now I think and I absolutely love it. I think it's actually my favorite silver shampoo ever <laughs> and that is the fudge one. Looks like this and it's just the uh, fudge uh, violet toning shampoo. Looks like this and it's very very good. So if you want uh, white hair use the L'Oreal So Silver. If you want like almost blue toned silvery hair um, use some kind of like silver shampoo for uh, horses <laughs> I guess like animals I guess they are a lot more stronger um, and I would recommend it so don't be like oh my god no it's not for humans like just chill you know it's okay and if you want like silvery hair uh, like mine I guess um, use the fudge one and for bleach um, I recommend uh, Moods Ultra Blonde and also Schwarzkopf uh, what's it called? <laughs> Silvery Blonde. Um, I hope you found it helpful, I guess, um, and that you want to try out some of the things and just... Um, if there's anything that you didn't understand, like, <clears throat> like my pronunciation of stuff, <laughs> just uh, write it down below and uh, I will answer in words <laughs> so you understand better so just uh, comment as I said if there's anything you didn't understand or if there's something that I missed that you wanted to know um, just comment and um, yeah we will see each other in my next video I hope bye